In this video, we will look at the effective mass or weight of various clusters of balls. Shown here is a nine ball rack. To help ensure the cue ball hits the pack squarely and with no English, we use two frozen balls. We have a scale on the box to help us measure the incoming and outgoing speed of the cue ball. By applying conservation of momentum and assuming energy is conserved, we can calculate an effective mass of the ball cluster. As we can see, the cue ball does bounce back away from the rack because the rack does have a larger effective mass than the cue ball. For both the 9 ball and 8 ball racks, the effective mass of the cluster is about 50% more than the mass of the cue ball. The outgoing speed of the cue ball is about one-fifth of the incoming speed. With the cue ball hitting two frozen balls squarely, notice how the cue ball still rebounds back, but not with as much speed as with a full rack. For both two frozen balls or four frozen balls, the effective mass of the cluster is about 10% more than the weight of the cue ball. The outgoing speed is about 1 20th of the incoming speed.